Well, this snuck up on us, didn't it? We'd heard nothing about this about two weeks before the show, and it's caused a real stir. It's the Sea Line SV30. It's the first Sea Line that's been built purely under the guard of Hansa, alongside British designer Bill Dixon. Uh, 33 foot long, you've got a cabin in the front, cabin in the back, lovely big open cockpit, and with a single D6 330, it starts at just over £134,000, excluding VAT. Sounds all too good to be true, is it? I don't know, let's go and have a look. When the boat's 33 foot long, you don't want to go too mad trying to cram too much stuff on board, and Sea Line have held back in the cockpit, which is a good thing. You've got plenty of seating, nice big fixed table, uh, wet bar, of course, and the, but the, the components are nice, isotherm fridge, you've got an Eno uh, grill here, it's all good stuff. Uh, and what's quite nice is that this part of the roof manually retracts as well, as well as the electric roof at the front. So they're both folding together, and you have what feels like a really, really open boat, but of course everything will be closed up very quickly for Shelter 2. You don't want to give too much credit to a helm when you're sitting in front of it at a boat show because things can change vastly when you're out at sea. However, first signs are very good. Sea lines, helm positions are generally very good and the S330 seems the same. Everything falls to hand nice and easily. I can sit back here, wheel, throttle, don't have to lean forward. This is just what I want from a helm position. You can easily see and interact with the plotter and you have the dials and the compass right in your eye line just where they should be. And because there's a step down here, this is particularly good when you're manoeuvring. You can get well clear of the windscreen and use, this has got the optional um, stern thruster joystick too, but just when you're moving around a marine to have this view out is, uh, is really nice. There's plenty going on below decks on the S330 as well. You've got this seating area and galley amidships. There is a table here, but they haven't put it in for the show. Um, the galley has all you need for you know, at least a, a weekend on board. And you have two separate cabins, which is really nice for, for a boat of this size. Um, and you can lose this bulkhead if you want and leave it open plan, which obviously increases the feeling of space. And there's a, a really spacious uh, heads compartment, although there isn't a separate shower cubicle, plenty of headroom and light and a decent amount of storage as well. I think Sealand could be onto a real winner with this boat. It's the sort of boat that people have been clamouring for for a long, long time. Yes, they're probably going to have to build and sell a lot of them to make any real money, but I don't see why they won't, because it fits into the market absolutely beautifully. And with this and the F380 just here hitting the water in quick succession, it looks like Sea Lion may well and truly be back. Mm -hmm.